Hey everyone, Sherwin here. I got a lot of cards here and, and in this one too. And a lot of envelopes that I have to go through. I'm not going to fit it all in one video. That's just too much content or too much stuff. I hope it will be too much content for you guys. So um, uh, that's why I'm breaking it down into uh, many videos. And I'll check it off my list of who I have and who I don't have. Um, and what I pay for and I'll do all the accounting and transactions for that later but anyway before we get into the video hit the thumbs up button like it subscribe uh, share with one or more friends and let's get started I broke it down to who sent me kind of thing so let's look at it. this is my box i was so fascinated by the box itself i know it sounds lame but let's see where i can open this i would never have thought of doing it this way oh yeah what i wanted to say is that um uh, i'm still going to do these videos instead of doing them seven days a week i'm doing them six days a week but i'm doing once a week the reading um the reading thing i was trying to transition to only reading uh but i've been buying so much and i'm like if i don't make videos on them uh open well, reading uh, well, if i don't make videos on them i feel like then well opportunity cost kind of thing like i'm losing out opportunity to show you what i have or haven't got uh, this packaging oh, this, i might save that that's nice stuff uh, whoa that is small we got a stadium thing which i think she threw in for free I think she said that uh, on both sides. So five dollars back in the day, but I don't think that thing costs five dollars now. And we have oh a ton of stadium cards here. Mm, is there anything more? No. That's a sweet ass box. Sweet ass box. Uh, I'm keeping the box. Look at the condition of the box. Like, you could totally use it for something else called recycling. Okay, so let's look through what I got. Um, these are a lot smaller than I thought. I mean, look at the size of them. Maybe I'm just used to bigger ones. Okay, so this is a double patch. Winnipeg. Alex Hemsky, um, materials, Oilers, um, horizontal one, um, and then I can show it to you this way, and then I'll show it to you this way, and this way. So we'll, we'll put that one to the side, or we'll put it here, and then. We got a artifact tundra goaltender goaltender. We got Manny Leak and Curtis Sanford number seventy eight of one hundred and twenty five. Also, this is a number card and it's an artifact and it's a jersey or relic card and it's a um what's called low series run short run card wow and it's all you know what one of the few cards that you can get in the series like i don't know what is it called low pop low pop 34 and 31 curtis sanford and manny league we'll put it on this side A trilogy line mates um andrew Calling go with the Oilers 
Oh, the previous one was uh, St. Louis Blues, black and blue. This one is black and white, or is it dark blue and white? I don't know, I think it's black and white. Edmonton Oilers, Sam Gagne. And Andrew Collingo. Upper deck, Hugh Lee. I'm assuming it stands for upper deck. That's what I was told anyway. Brad Richards. Stars. Mirror, mirror. Uh, 10, 11, certified. Six foot. Oh. So this one is 64 out of 150 card. So I guess it's a low pop. Or is it just at least it's a numbered card. That, that even if it's not a low pop, and but what's for sure, what I have is that, um, it's a numbered card. Jordan Stahl and Richard Panic, Carolina Hurricanes and the Tampa Bay Lightning, red and we got a blue one. Certified competitors. This was a nice pickup, I gotta say. Oh, autograph taped on Noah Hanfin, rookie artifacts. Nice. Um, what is it? Two hundred and ten. We got our treasures. Swatches. Well, what's the difference between a swatch and a relic card and a jersey card? Aren't they all the same? 80 out of 199. Authentic jersey swatch. Artifact. It is Danny Heatley of the left wing Ottawa Senators. Oh, I don't remember. Did the Ottawa Senators make the playoffs? I forgot. I haven't been keeping track. Um, the next card is Frozen Fabrics. Um, R. W. Senators, um, and Danny Heatley. Two patches on it. Ten out of twenty-five jersey. Congratulations! You have received. A Danny Heatley game used trading card. On the front of this card are pieces of memorabilia that have been certified to us as ha having been used in, a, in an official NHL game. We hope you've enjoyed the piece of history as we continue uh, you, you, to keep you close as you can get. Like if you asked me 10, 15 years ago if I were to own a piece of history like this, like I actually have... Uh, jerseys used in the game, I'd be like, no way, I laugh at you. But now it's like a more of a common thing. Although these are low pops or rare items, it's like still pretty damn cool, man. Artifacts, Tundra, right wing, right wing, Senators and Senators, Daniel and Alferson, Danny Heatley, dual jerseys. Um, so this is this one, and we got a whole stack more, <laughs> this is just one of the videos that I'm going to be doing, I'm, I'll grab my book and, and start reading, uh, I plan on doing what, two chapters today, maybe three chapters of reading today, but that never goes according to plan, you know, parents always make you do shit. I want to put all my effort into building this channel, but that means sports cards. It's got to be one thing or the other. It can't be reading or sports cards, so maybe I might build two channels all together. I don't know. Sports cards seems to be doing better than the reading one, but I feel like long term, if I keep reading, it will uh, improve my reading skills and stuff like that, But and I don't have to record myself doing it, but I like it. 
doing that. It gives me another chance. It's just like reassess. More that you make, more that you have a chance to get a good content out. Ryan Clo Sharks, 2011 to 2012 certified. Two patches on this one. And I'm a 104. Um, it says 103, I mean 073 out of 150, uh, I don't really know why it says 104 year, but yet it says 073 slash 150. Well, we'll keep going, I got three, um, patches on this one, three stars, Spotlight Trilogy, Marcus Naslin of the Rangers, whoa, he was he's a Canuck before. Scott Gomez of the Rangers, Brendan Shanahan of the Rangers, Mark Naslin, 2008 2009. Okay, that makes sense. There's a signature at the back of this one, not on the back of this one. So maybe this one's a significant one. Uh, well, obviously, because it has three patches, but beyond the obvious three patches I'm talking about. Whoa, this one has four patches. Shea Weber, Black and Diamond, four. Upper Deck, Nashville Predators. Man, this is sweet. And it has a signature at the bottom over here. Uh, at the back of an end. Uh, I don't know if it really does count. Though it's an autograph card. Now we got one with two patches. I like uh, I like ones with multiple patches. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth when I buy multiple patches. I feel like I know what I'm getting. Or something that's really huge in the patches. Oh wow, it says 12 minutes in. You see, I, I, if I had combined all my videos together, it would probably be like an hour long. This one's already 12 minutes in. And this is the Rangers, Derek Stefan. Luxury Suite in Panini. Two patches on this one. It's a pretty thick card, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is pretty thick compared to the other ones, which are more flimsy. Um, normally, you want to enjoy the patch, so um, I don't know why she put the, it, it in sleeves, but maybe it's a good idea to protect the card, of course. Uh, you don't really want to grade them. You can, but there's no point. Uh, this one's a rookie card. It's a double patch with a signature. Uh, Jesper Fast New York Rangers rookie selection. Uh, 20 out of 249. We got a couple more to go through just from the stack. And then we have to open out two of these packs. And we also have to do this one. Um, I'm good. I don't have to take out a stamp for this one. For this one, I got a Scott Hart now. Double patch. Double patch. Yes, they're all raw. And that's what sucks about it. But, um... The raw, raw is just great, it doesn't really change much in, in patches, so you might as well just buy raw, and people don't really grade patches ones. UD superstars, Brian Grease and Joe Sackick. Really? Joe Sackick? What the hell? Broncos quarterback and Colorado center for... For football and hockey on the same patch. That's a unique one. And check this one out. This is a Trevor Can and a Braden Hobley dual jersey in Canada, I think. Congratulations, you have received a dual jersey card from um, the in the O Canada series. Oh, I guess not. Maybe. Um, no, it doesn't say anything, but it looks like it is related to Team Canada. Anyway, the next one, this team doesn't exactly 
exist anymore in the same way that it currently is in. It's called the, the what is it, the Atlantic Trashers. Uh, yeah, check it out. Artifacts, 2008-2009 hockey. Kari Letonin, goaltender. I love goaltenders. They're my thing. Authentic jersey swatch. We got ourselves a red and a white. Treasured swatchers. And now we have the last one in the stack. Frozen artifacts. We got 95 out of 199. Left, 17 left wing. Two uh, patches. And his name is Ilya Kovachak, left wing. 2008-09 Artifact Hockey. Okay, so now we'll go through this uh, one. I gotta figure out a way to put that in. Maybe I should put it in a, uh, in the box again and put it in. Or maybe I can put it in the Ziploc bag and just dump it in. But I don't know, maybe the box might come in handy. That's a useful thing to have on the side. I think maybe the Ziploc might... No, but the box... Ooh! We got a Grant Fur. Grant Fur. Nice, nice. They were selling these Grant Fur cards separately. So that's pretty neat. How they were doing this. So this one's at 258. Um... Yeah. Steve Bozak. 28. So, yeah. Oh, what I forgot to say. Oh, man. That's a Canuck. What I forgot to say. Uh is that Mondays is reading every other every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is showing you stuff, opening stuff. More of this kind of stuff. So we got Youth Dalen Top Stadium number fifty five. We got Mark Rural Top Stadium Dallas North Stars number three hundred twenty two. We're not talking about the jersey number, we're talking about the card number. Ron Sutter, Top Stadium Club. This one's an entertaining, ent entertaining one. It's a comic-like uh, hockey card. This is the first of the kind that I have ever seen. So it says, You don't even know where to find the best hockey coverage. Oh yeah? It's on the back of this card. <laughs> That's a cute one. Obviously, that's not what they were thinking, or not even close, or neither was it what they were saying. Okay, so this is another one that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Quebec Nordiques, Sean Anderson, Top Stadium Club. Hopefully, in the next pack I rip, we'll, uh, we'll have different cards from these ones. I predict it will be that way, but... Who knows? It says 12 premium um, 
Cards. Darren Kimball. Tops. Stadium Club. Two hundred seventy-eight. Number two seventy-eight. So let me just take a quick drink of water, and we'll continue. <clears throat> Top Stadium Club, Geoff Courtnell. Top Stadium Club, Adam Craigleton. Joe Sakic, uh, Top Stadium Club, Quebec Nordiques. It doesn't exist anymore. Quebec Nordiques, Joe Sakic, the famous Joe Sakic. I didn't think I would be getting another Joe Sakic. Mike Madano, top stadium club, 187. Mike Modano. Okay, that's the end of that pack. Now we will rip another pack. So this one can go in the garbage. And now we are ripping this one open, but not off. Get it? Okay, so let's see what I got real quick. Sino Calavini, top stadium and club. Gino Calavini, number thirty four. J. Mazur, Tops Stadium Club. Tops Stadium Club. Kelly Kiesel. St uh, sh uh, sharks. I know they're sharks. But the funny thing is, on this, it shows... Um, an image of Detroit Red Wings or something that resembles that anyway. We got Steve Duchesne, it's the top stadium club, Los Angeles Kings. And yeah, at first I thought it was a, a um, Wayne Gretzky card that would have been kind of awesome near the end of his career. Guess Lori Boschman, top stadium club, two hundred ninety two. Rajon Lemon and top stadium club. So this is another uh, comic card that I read before. I'm not going to reread it because it's the exact same words on the card. However, I am showing you the image on the card or images on the card. I should say. Uh, Thomas Sandstorm. Cool last name. To uh, Top Stadium Club. Wow, they used to give a lot more cards back then. The card, the card seemed smaller though. 
but there were more I feel more jam packed with image no nowadays it's more jam packed with image uh, with information before it's more about images and stuff this one's a uh, Glenn Featherstone like now there's a lot of keyword choices I could put in to the algorithm but I don't know <gasps> I got a Kirk McLean card that's so cool top stadium club I love this That's pretty cool. That one was 105. And ladies and gentlemen, we're not even done yet. We still have two more cards plus this one to go through. Mark Fitzpatrick, top stadium club, New York Islanders, 345. So at this rate, this might be close to about a half hour. Um, video and I don't normally make that long ones so this one is Chris Joseph of what Dallas I mean not Dallas Stars the North Stars and he has a picture of himself in an Edmonton Oiler uniform must have been in the past so that's 24 cards right there so now I'm going to open up this one Maybe we might get to keep the envelope, maybe not, depending on how good the quality remains to be seen. Oh! No, I mean, depending on whether it's bubble wrapped or not inside. Oh, good. Good. Oh, that is taped strong. Okay, I'm just gonna take it up. Wow. Wow, oh, she really took care of this. So, I got this. Willie Mays. As you can see. I oh, damn this thing. Wow. Absolutely beautiful, man. Four homers by Willie Mays. Baseball Heroes 49 of 54 1961 four home homer game How do you have four homers in one game? Holy Oh that one's definitely going back in the package uh, Willie Mays Archetypes. Shit, man, that's so awesome. Tops card. So was this made in 1961 or was it just celebrating 1961? Oh, it says copyright 1992, so it's probably not made in 1961. It doesn't look old enough, but it's still pretty cool. But hey, the picture looks like it came from 1961. This one, I don't think. It looks at oh, long ball legends, 470 home run, Babe Ruth, Boston Red Sox, tops. You can't really go blank. The Babe Ruth story. Uh, okay. And Baltimore picked up on Roots talents in high school. Wow. Hometown hero. So that's all, folks. Uh, if you like this video, comment down below. And share with one friend.